really clean overall, I think. We've been sitting for 13 years. Leroy, stop eating the snowmobile. <laughs> so, yeah. So this happened, somehow. My dad's abandoned 1987 Yamaha Exciter. Dude, it gets me excited. <laughs> Um, it ran when it was parked, like 13 years ago. Been sitting ever since at his friend's house. It when turns we, over. It turns over, yeah. Does that have an electric start? Oh, the key just fell apart. I just turned it. <laughs> it's the first time the key's been touched in. It does have an electric start, yeah. Looks like the jump back up, see what happens. Dude, watch this thing just frickin' fire off after like 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. Okay, don't do that. What? That was me. Uh, what? <laughs> I we turned, turned it over. I turned the key. You ready? Yep. Like, almost sounded like it wanted to fire over though, didn't it? I'm going to take the spark plugs out and see what they look like. So, but, uh, they're pretty damn clean. 13 years of sitting. Give the old scrape or do or scrape or don't, you know. Okay. Got the carburetor out. I'm taking a part here. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's not good, like it doesn't work, but it should be really easy to clean. Nothing crazy here. Everything moves nice. I mean, the floats are a little gummed up, so whatever. I mean, as to be expected, but really clean overall, I think, for sitting for 13 years. I'm just going to clean this thing up, see what happens, and then get the next one out, clean it, and then put them back in. All right, we're starting it now. We just put some fresh gas in. drive. Put it all the way back together probably. Is it not all the way back together? Oh uh, no. yeah. Yeah. All the way back together. Only the vest for this unit. Ooh, cool. so these are, about... It's going. Keep karate, keep, karate, keep, keep, karate. Keep, keep, keep. Okay, look. Kind of hot. Mm. Is that the cap for it? Yeah. Nice. This is the cone cap, right? Okay. Put the rest way together and uh Okay, this is gonna be the first run of the snowmobile in 13 years. We'll see what happens.
it smoking still? This thing is fast. Yeah, it rips. So the gas is just pouring in there. I mean, I guess because the ignition's working. Everything works. It's like the throttle's like stuck. Like so I fixed the sled. I figured out what was going on. The throttle cables were pulled really tight, so the actual like needle in the car wasn't going down all of the way. So that's why I had to run it with the kill switch because it would rev out and I would have to kill it because it wanted to go a bajillion miles an hour. I had to kill it, obviously, so I didn't go a bajillion miles an hour and kill myself. What I did was get the throttle cable sorted out Pulled it a little bit, gave it some extra slack, and then got the carbs back in. I cleaned them again, cleaned them up a little more, got the jets, made sure that they were those were really clean. And thing runs good now. It idles nice. It doesn't want to go through the wall when you start it. Let's see if we can get it started. <coughs> Choke, kill switch. Let's see if the battery will do it. these red lights, they barely mean anything. Oh. My dad hasn't even seen it yet. Like, that's the best part, is he, he knows we have it. I picked it up with him, and he was like, nah, we'll probably just have to scrap it. I don't think it'll ever run again. The thing is probably deteriorating. It took me a couple hours of work to get it going. He knows it runs, but he hasn't been around to see it yet. So that might be in another video. I don't know what that's gonna be like, considering this is, I think, his first snowmobile, and. Obviously his only one we haven't had another one since and he just kind of forgot about it and let it go So I can't imagine what that's I mean is it gonna be like reuniting with a childhood friend? I don't know <laughs> for him more so than me unfortunately for you guys. We have this slight issue There's just not enough snow enough snow for us to go do Anything with it yet if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of this sled running Which you probably gonna to want to because it's gonna be awesome Please don't forget to like this video comment. Tell us what you think about this sled Do you, Have you ridden an old sled? That's a better question or the sled that you do have tell us what it is Why not? It's the season for snowmobiles. So make sure to like comment subscribe if you haven't done that yet a lot of the people that watch these videos guys if you see this chances are you're not subscribed we get a lot of people that are like new viewers that come to the channel but they don't subscribe so we would really appreciate it we're trying to grow it's going to take you guys to help us along the way until next time guys thank you again for the views we'll see you soon